And I want to welcome you to this activity. This is a very important activity. Today we are bringing recognition to Empire Funeral Home. We look around in our community, growing up here in beautiful Dangriga. I used to walk the main, and I see a mixture, and I walk outside of the main, and you see locals running their businesses. But now we see a shift. So I'm ever so happy that today we can bring recognition to Empire Funeral Home, an entity owned by a Garifuna brother. Let's put our hands together for Brother Charles and his family. And I hope and pray that we will continue to support our local businesses because without our support, they will not um, flourish. We always see this, the glory when someone shines. We always see the glory. But have we ever took some time to think about the story behind that? And that's what I'm going to share with you before we get into this evening's exercise. This that you're seeing today, ladies and gentlemen, has been 20 years in the making. When I say 20 years in the making, I mean the seed was planted 20 years ago when the uncle of Mr. Charles Irvin Paulino, Mr. Prudencio Paulino, retur returned from the U.S. and decided to experiment with creating and designing caskets. This was then presented to Mr. Victor Paulino. Let us acknowledge him as well, please, because he played a great role in this. We need to support our own because most of the time when we hear about business or see business in our communities, we are seeing people that doesn't look like us. Of course, we encourage um, people to come and do business in our community. I have been approached by a lot of young people who say to me, Mr. Mara, I want to start a business, but I don't got money for pay me trade license. And as the mayor, I'm telling you the truth, that for those people that want to start and do small business, we will give you a free trade license for the first year. When I saw the flags positioned, I said something is wrong. And I called Pizza's attention to it. And then I wanted the anthem. Because I believe that when you have learned, you need to teach. I do the research, you know, Mr. and Mr. Paulino knows. And so um, I want to applaud your efforts, congratulate your efforts. I got connected with and I developed a relationship with Empire's Funeral Home and Mr. Irvin Paulino and his family. With to undertake the burial of my son, who was brutally murdered, the late Andrew Charles Flores, John C. My fellow Dangrigana, my friends and family, you can trust them. Based on my experience with them, they are the best. I didn't have anything to say today, but um, today we have an award for my dad. For the man that I've, for the man that you've been, for the person that you've turned your kids into, I thank you, and I love you, and today I honor you. I have something to say too. Dangriga, I have a philosophy that why would Nagamba my dad hear on Gideon? But little then, I should be down on the wire with the pain that this is said. This is said the room now. From this, what you call from south to north. My dad is was a builder. He used to build houses. He used to he used to build caskets. Whenever I see people build caskets, when I pass by, by when I pass by. It's take me three months before I pass from there again. <laughs> I'm happy for my sons. And it's three of them that have their own trade. 
let me first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty God for making today's occasion a resounding success.